Sure, leave. Not like you care anyway. It's a fine day with you around. You're a lovely Sure, young. leave. You Not like you care sometime. anyway. No, I'm saving myself for someone special. Someone who loves me dearly. You mean Sibby? You must be joking. All he wants to do is bed you and be done with it. You may as well get it over with and let him. You're wrong. Sibby and I are in love, and you're just jealous. Hey, good to see you again. The bunkhouse isn't an inn. I'd recommend the Bee and Barb. Sure, leave. Yes. Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here, while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. Sure, leave. Not like you care anyway. Watch what you're doing. Look, I got the message. What else did you want? Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your hands to yourself. Sure, leave. Not like you care anyway. Buy some armor Although and live I would to tell like about. to have anchored a bit closer to Golden Blow State. Why didn't you then? When I got close, the mercenaries Arian got hired to Legendary protect the estate just waved me off. I don't think he wants visitors anymore. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. We got a few pieces of jewelry at the prawn, Medesi. Want to come take a look at them later? I wish I could, my lady. Sadly, I haven't sold enough of my own jewelry, let alone buy some from you. I'm sorry. Looking to stay alive? Oh, I'm so Why sorry. take a chance? I'm certain Bowley would be happy to lend you for his items. Much appreciated, Lady Dreva. But I'll manage. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. 
What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? After you talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjolf first. We could talk later. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Hi. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. And out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. 
So we send in Vex, and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Aye. Arengoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Let me put it